Okay, so with the bunker shot, let's say So I take a divot. I, so that's where the club enters the sand, leaves the sand. Whereabouts would I want the ball to be positioned in that divot? Let's say if there, there was a ball. Ideally, where would it be? So more toward the back, you mean? Well done. Well done. That's exactly right. So. Even with a bunker shot, you're still striking the ball with a slight descending blow. So if I'm, if I'm playing this shot, then my divot shape is probably going to be something, you know, something around about that size, but the ball is definitely being struck before I get to the low point of the swing. What I, what I want to feel, not what I actually do, but what I want to feel in a bunker shot is that the shaft of the, the club head actually passes being in line with my hands at impact. I don't want that to happen, but I want it to feel like that. What that'll do is that'll ensure that the club face stays open through impact, okay? Um, other things with a bunker shot are that, the, I mean, the, the big thing is to actually take the right amount of sand. So if I'm looking, if I'm playing a shot and my ball's positioned here and I want, the, I want to get it out, then I've got to be able to hit the, the line where I want it to. Okay, that's, real, that's critical. I mean, it is with all shots, but certainly with a bunker. Um, what else can I tell you about a bunker shot? Okay. So when I set myself up, I want to address the, the, uh, the shot with the ball forward in my stance. So if I'm set up... So if I'm set up to the target there, club face is square, ball's forward in my stance. If I open my club face, which I'll always do in the bunker, that's going to influence the ball to start to the right. So I want to aim my feet to the left to allow for that. So if I just open my stance this way, effectively, I'm moving the ball back in my stance. So what I'm going to do instead is walk my feet around this circle. So the ball position stays the same relative to my feet. If you've got the, the tendency of just pulling your left foot back to open your stance, you'll find that that'll feel like the ball's, you know, way outside your left foot somewhere. Okay. Um, now, with the full shots, what I said was that the, as the arms slow, there's that transfer of momentum and that's what creates the release. So with your bunker shot, because you're going to take some sand as well as the ball, you want to have a fair bit of club head speed. So the easiest way to do that is to, allow, is to have the sensation that, or, or know that as the club approaches the ball, your arms will slow and that'll cause the club head to take off. That's a, a really important thing. You may not have noticed my arms slow, but you certainly noticed they kept moving. But as they approach the ball, my arms are slowing and the, the club takes off. And a couple of practice swings, you'll feel that anyway. So when I'm playing the bunker shot, club face is open, I walk my feet around the circle, and then I'm looking to try and take that same amount of sand to play the shot. That's pretty good.